So today's comment of the day comes from AP, and he says, I want to misquote, weak men love this COVID thing because it allows them to feel like virtuous heroes by simply wearing a mask, taking a jab, and harassing people while actively being frail, while actually being frail and pathetic. So as soon as I actually read that quote, first, let me give a backstory. I might go on a tangent here, but I'll let you boys chime in. So I wish you would have cited where the original guy that gave this quote, because I knew I've seen this somewhere before. So I did some digging and sure enough, I found it. It was a tweet by someone called Zuby Music but it was um, posted on Elliot Hulse's Instagram, right? And I feel like I need to address this comment. So once again, weak men love this COVID thing, it allows them to feel like virtuous heroes by simply wearing a mask, taking a jab, harassing people, or actually being frail and pathetic. So the kind of space like this kind of quote comes from, it's a specific community. It's like this, this alpha community, strong men, alpha, this red pill community. And, and I kind of know a bit about it because I've been in it myself. And although you can, you can get a lot of interesting information from there, it's very dangerous because you've got these alpha influencers, you know, influencing young, impressionable men, telling them this is how to be a strong man. This is a weak man. Do this. Women are all women are trash. Don't get in relationships, all these types of things. And I was there at one point, you know, fucking woman hater, you know, because fresh, I was fresh off like a relationship breakup and I was in these spaces. But they're so they're now, saying it's a week to uh, put on a mask and take a jab. What, what do you boys think of that, that statement? Um, me personally, I think it's a um, stupid statement to make. It's a load of fucking um, bollocks is what it is. Mainly because... Yes, I understand um, people um, People when they say they should be allowed to do whatever they want and that they shouldn't be controlled by the government. But the issue is that, I mean, if the virus wasn't a super spreader, then yeah, sure, do whatever you want. But the fact that your actions can, um, um, can lead to other people's deaths takes really takes the um it takes the control out of your hand because yeah sure you can not wear a mask you can do whatever you want but then you could inadvertently um pass on the bar to someone who may be in um what's it called asymptomatic so they don't feel the effects but then they then pass it on to maybe their grandmother who is actually who's living with them and then obviously she gets the virus and then um maybe sadly passes away so um and that could obviously um bear very, um really negative effects to um families so um so that's why i think that's why i really think that statement is it's a um it's a bit self-centered um because we need to think of we um we, we don't need to just think about ourselves we also need to think about the people around us and how our actions affect, um, affects those around us. And this virus best a clear example of that as well, that literally as long as we just follow the rules, um, whether we like them or not, the quicker we'll be able to get out of this situation. Um, for example, New Zealand, Australia, ev um, the government were quick to act, people followed the rules, the, um, they wore the mask, um, when there was curfew, the um, people followed. Really and strict look, rules as well. Very yeah. strict. And and look at them now, like they're all they, they've been living a normal life for most of the pandemic that we've been in because they followed the clear guidelines set up by the government. So I mean, again, it's, it looks like they're more community centered and they don't just think about themselves. Um, unlike the UK and places like America where they just think about themselves and then it's causing major issues. On, on that point, actually, uh, that, I, I, I see it from a different kind of angle. So obviously you've got the government, you've got the guidelines, you've got all the, you know, the scientific research. It's all good and well, the government's sitting there and saying, X, Y, Z, this is why you need to take it. You know, this is what happens if you don't. All, all this kind of, but 
we now live in a in a, in a modern time where yeah as you said sammy a lot more people are thinking for themselves and i think society has a massive impact on how people think as well because you know throw it back to i don't know how however many like maybe the the 60s where a lot of the things were like society led so you know like one of the well, what's a good example um you know women stay at home stay at home wife kind of thing men go off and the bread and if, if you weren't a stay at home wife if you're trying to drift away from that kind of role you were kind of an outcast you were like oh she's a bit weird like what what is she doing so i think if we still lived in that kind of time where you know let's say you didn't want to take the vaccine but a lot of other people did so you had like nine people out of ten taking vaccine but that one didn't they could outcast them and make them feel like shit for not doing it for not taking the vaccine and say well you know why why aren't you you know as you said sammy you could be killing off other people xyz but yeah it's it's weird because now we live in a time where people don't actually give a shit like you know and with social media and with the internet and a lot of these other things you can find other people with this mindset and then come together to breed more of that mindset so yes it's a bit of a strange one really because we don't live in that time anymore where it can be condensed you know there's a lot of free will there's a lot more of the spread and yeah i don't know that that comment in particular i think it's just it's you know, it, a lot it of people yeah this uh, it stems from this woke culture you know i'm so woke because i don't believe in covid and i'm not going to wear a mask and i found a really good counterpoint a counter comment actually on this post and it said it's basically a mirror but it just flips a few words weak low status males love this covid thing because they can pretend to be strong alpha males by refusing to wear a mask refusing to get a shot and harassing others and that's what it is even if we do a lexical breakdown of the initial comment, this COVID thing, really just kind of undermining this whole situation, this COVID thing, like, what is it? It's a, it's a fake thing. It's just a thing. But really, you know, wearing a mask, protecting others, it, it's a weak thing to do, apparently, for men. I think protecting those more vulnerable, those weaker, is masculine to the core, if you ask me. And I think we... We shouldn't be developing this attitude of let's let's bash and judge other people. Let's call other people weak. I've been trying to take this approach of just developing a love for all of humanity, really. Just love, you know? I agree. <laughs> that sounds corny. I'm, it's, it's, it's weird because I'm as guilty as, you know, the, the next guy for that kind of thing. You know, this whole, you know, trying to build that alpha mentality and, and you know, fuck women, all this shit like it. You know, it, it might, I don't know, man, it's bad. It's, it's bad because why, why are we setting these, these lines, these boundaries? Like, where, where are they coming from? Like, why, why do we have to be like that? Why can't everyone just be sound? It's, it sounds it fucking cheesy. 